Hey guys, back in the kitchen this week. Uh, we have some exciting things coming up. It's my husband's birthday coming up next week. And so I thought I'd make him a little present. Um, he's got virtually everything. There's nothing he really needs at the moment. So I thought I'd do him something that he wants. Um, and he loves hot sauce. So he loves it on his pizzas. He loves it on top of, just on top of chicken. And I've made this one before. We're gonna make a fermented hot sauce this week. So, it's easy to customise, you can put your own flavours in it. If you've got a favourite flavour in your hot sauce, like garlic or ginger, um, you can put that in. Um, yeah, let's get on, shall we? Let's ferment some peppers. So just starting off by uh, picking whichever peppers you want. And you, uh, I think these ones were just some jalapeno peppers and we're gonna just chop them and vein them and de-seed them now i'm not being dead precious about this because if there are a few seeds in it obviously a lot of the heat is in the veins in the seeds and my husband likes heat that's what i'm making it for I'm making it to his tastes and i'm not bothered about all of the seeds coming out um so if there's some left in it's okay it's all going to get blended up and it'll be absolutely fine um if you don't like that then obviously you can take more care over that um as you can see i've just uh, deveined them all um you know, clearing up and putting up all the rubbish in the compost bin because nothing gets wasted that's absolutely fine <laughs> there's my little compost bucket look always have it handy trying to get rid of all the seeds now please do not do this with no gloves and then rub your eyes ask me how i know yeah me showing you i'm going to wash my hands so this next part we're going to weigh the jar and zero it so that when we put the peppers in and the water in all we weigh is the peppers and the water so the brine this is my filtered water um, it's better to use filtered for anything like this because that will um, encourage the bacteria to grow so you can see there I've got 1,222 grams now a 3% brine is what I'm after so what I'm doing in here is I've done my calculations my specific one without the jar for just the water and the chili was 1222 so I ended up with a 3% brine at 36.6666 whatever it was <laughs> Um, so I did my calculations. I warmed it up ever so slightly so that the salt dissolved into the water and I put it all back in. I'm using a little jar there, a little sterilized jar to keep out all of the um, things underneath the water, all of the chilies under the water so we don't get any mold growth. And then there's that beautiful, glorious, jewel looking jar of chilies. And we're gonna leave that for about a week. <laughs> Once we've done that, it's dead simple to make the, horse, uh, the hot sauce. We're going to put all the chilies that we've had fermenting. Once you see your bubbles, um, and it's bubbling nicely, there's bubbles around the top, or bubbles float up when you use it, uh, when you move it, sorry, that's when you can start using it. So mine took about a week. Uh, it's summer, it was quite quick. So what I did there was I've put um, some chilies into the blender and put in a couple of spoonfuls of the uh, vinegar in there look i've put a couple of spoonfuls of the brine that they were fermenting in in there as well um we've got some sugar and some oil now the recipe will be down below there'll be a link to the recipe down below um and what i've done there is i've put some salt more salt in and that's to taste if you don't like it too salty you don't have to put loads in and then this is my garlic i wanted to make a nice garlic flavor for my husband he loves that um, again you can make it to your taste if you want to put ginger in put some ginger in um, and then we just whiz it up in the blender until it's all smooth and then there's your hot sauce now fermented hot sauce will keep in the fridge for up to 12 months do keep checking it and um, see if there's any mold on the top if there is or it smells funny at any point and I don't just mean like the sour um, smell Ooh, look <laughs> and you have a beautiful fermented hot sauce um, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to check the website for the link. 